Welcome back to Baron Breakfast. Nearing day 20 here. We've got uh, three properties now. Hank's looking great. Pick up, picked up the uh, fanny pack last time, which was a really timely upgrade for our inventory. Going to be able to pick up a whole bunch more stuff now, along with finding the uh, place to buy all the ingredients. So, looking good. Got a quest to build a level three bathroom in A24 and host two guests with the hygienic trade. I don't think we've come across the level three bathroom blueprints yet, so I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of quest that we need to finish in order to do that. So let's see where the other stuff's at. We can take the egg dippy to Gus. Just got to remember where the heck he's at. We got to host two guests with the pamper trait in Timber Crossing, so we could go check on that as well. J-Mac. Thanks for the 15 months. Welcome on back in. Yeah, we're feeling pretty good uh, money-wise. Financially, business is bearing. Sure, yeah. It's going pretty well. Let's head to Timber Crossing and see if we can't find some pampered folks to... Well, you know, pamper. Gotta find more valuables, too. Yeah, here we go. Gotta get to decorating, dude. Not a lot of room left here in Timber Crossing to, uh... To upgrade. They need 38 comfort, huh? Well, we are gonna have to upgrade substantially, then. Let's take a look. Let's have a look here at bedroom four. I feel like we could do better with this space. I don't necessarily want to move it. Dude, I kind of love the way this lobby looks as an aside. I know the lobby takes up probably like a third of the, the, the available space that we've got here in Timber Crossing, but... I still love the look of it. The little guitar up there, the jukebox. I don't want to mess with that if I don't have to. But I do need to upgrade the comfort level of this bedroom. So, let's start with a uh, good old-fashioned cozy butterscotch bed. Since that'll be able to fit in there better. It gives us a real nice comfort boost. Cute comfy footrest would be good to get in there too. It's a plus five. Although I do have a few of those already, so I don't think I necessarily need to build another one. We'll organize while we're at it here. I don't know if there's much else that we can craft. That would be helping us out with the comfort in the bedroom right now. We can certainly upgrade what little we have available to upgrade. Grim Reaper! Pile on! Thanks for the two months as well. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. Love to see any bear hugs you got for him. Thanks for the support, y'all. Thanks for hanging for some bear and breakfast today. This game has been a treat. Oh, that's not right. Hold on. I go right there. Did I flip it around the other way? Maybe. Yeah, good enough. Good enough. I've been God indeed, too. Well played. Uh, let's do another footrest. Is that... Oh, this is... Jesus. What is this one? Cushion footrest. That's why. Holy hell. Another one's so much bigger. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's not bad. Comfort's probably looking pretty good in here now. Needs to be a lot higher, though. Those ratings that they were giving us were... Pretty outlandish. I'm kind of beginning to wonder if maybe we want to knock out the wall right here. Turn this into one big suite, and then we can up we can go ahead and like delete this and upgrade this to a big suite down here too. And that way maybe we can like I don't know. So I'm feeling like it's gonna be pretty damn difficult to make this much more comfortable the way things are right now. We want to put like a wardrobe in there. 
Ideally, the really nice one. But I don't think we're even going to be able to get to 30. How are we going to get to 30, man? That's going to gonna require some, some extra stuff. 38, yeah, geez. For the ones that we're supposed to take care of. Hmm. Currently rocking a 23 in bedroom four. Not a lot of breakfast so far today, Umbro, but the, the bed part of it's in the, in the works. I guess we can start with Looking at how much space we're gonna need. Ah, oh, we we need iron nails too. All right, you know we need to find a way to get some iron nails. Let's focus on that for a little bit. Did this guy say he had a shop of some kind? We have this one, of course, but I guess that's all Oliver's got to offer for us. I expected the junkyard would have a few nails, but last time we went there, all we were finding were screws. Hmm. Wonder if we've got a new quest available for the uh All oh, right, yeah, we got the hygienic trait one in A24 with the level 3 bathroom, so we're waiting on other quests in order to move on with the quest there. Yay, junk. I want to double check here, make sure there weren't any nails available for purchase along with the foods and stuff. I did want to buy a few of these things, too. Maybe some syrup. We do have a lot of money now. Let's get two of each of these. Sounds good. I'm just going to snag these while I'm here. I can't help myself. The urge must be sated. Tesla master. I'm gifting us up. Two and a half scums. Welcome to the pile. Appreciate your cataloging efforts as always, too. All right. Taking a peek at the front desk here for A24. Just curious to see whether or not we'd even be able to come close to the hygienic needs of these people. 27. Well, we've got them available. It's just a matter of whether or not we can take care of it. And yeah, I think it is really just going to require those level 3 blueprints to show up however we make that happen. I'm feeling a little stuck now, I guess. It seems like... Well, I suppose, first of all, I should go take the uh, Egg Dippy to Gus. That could very well solve all of my problems right here. Where was Gus? Was he he was in the dark place, right? The dark marsh or whatever the heck it was. So let's go back there. Let's see if maybe uh taking care of his problem is gonna help us take care of ours. Then we can go check out High Lake as well. How many valuables we got? 93 ammo, yeah, we'll hold on to them for now. Might even behoove me to sleep through the night, not just for the progress, but also so I can see. God, I'm so glad we got that speed upgrade that's been so helpful. I wonder if we'll get another one. That'd be cool. Alright. So I think the quickest way to get there is going to just be to take the bus to Sawdust. And then I think it was to the west, I want to say. Goodness, it got dark. I do like that it gets so dark. A lot of games are afraid to turn the lights out, you know? I, mean, I can respect that. The Pony of Shadow. Dish out that Bezos money. Hit me with the Prime. Thanks for the 10. Welcome back. Ooh, all kinds of wood there. Nice. I do need more pine wood. I'm entering the derby soon. Where are my, where are my pine wood derby kids at? 
making dope ass cars out of those tiny little wood blocks by which I mean our parents made those dope ass cars out of tiny little wood blocks those are the days pretty, pretty sure I still have pine sawdust in my lungs somewhere don't we all though have you really lived if you don't hey we painted them and put stickers on them that was hard work we contributed. We did our part. Oh, why does it smell like bacon? Babe, are you in here? Are you cooking bacon? It smells like bacon. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Oh, no. If it's not bacon, I'm concerned. You got something for me back there? Yep, fresh out of the kitchen. Ah, salty, savory, creamy, delicious. Tastes like I'm about to do something useful. You make a mean egg dippy, big boy. Thanks. I didn't lay it, only cooked it. We used to get egg dippy maybe once a year, if that. My poor ma, I don't blame her. She did the best she could. There were 12 brothers and she had to carry us all on her back. Literally. And we were all little dumbasses too, driving her up the wall. Oh man, I don't think my mom could have handled more than one Hank. I remember one time my two older brothers and I got up in the middle of the night to steal the pudding. And we accidentally dropped the whole bowl from the third floor. I swear her mouth was spouting fire. I thought I was for sure dying that night. I wasn't allowed out of the hole for three days straight. Uh... Yeah, that wasn't even the longest I got put in the hole. Did she ever put you someplace nice when you did something good? Like a shelf up high somewhere? <laughs> what? No, that's dumb. Besides, I don't remember doing something good, like, ever. It was like we were 12 devils put on this earth to torment her. And boy, were we good at it. I don't know. I remember doing a lot of dumb things, and I don't think we ever had a hole. Yeah, well, how'd you get punished? Forced to eat dish soap? The old stick over the paw? I hated that one. She usually sat down with me and told me what I did wrong. Usually felt bad enough to apologize and never do it again. Oh. I see. That's dumb. Hey, you know what? When you're done scavenging, I think I could use some help with the humans. Oh? Yeah, see, I'm not a big people bear, and I was thinking I needed someone with some heart, some zing. Hmm. And, and don't get me wrong, you have a lot of stinky energy. Damn right. But maybe that's exactly what I need from someone running my concierge stand. Do you... Do you mean that? Of course, I could use someone scaring some mustaches off a few folks for a fair price. Well, that's one of the least dumb things you've said today, Hank. Listen, if I come and help you, I'll need my own little table with my own little chair. Always the undeniable people possum, Gus, Gus had offered his services as a concierge. All he asked for was a little stand through which he could take care of business, of course. Perfect position for such a charming individual. Deal. So great, I'm excited. This is awesome. You're awesome. Oh, he didn't like that. Gus's concierge stand recipe. Gus has offered to come work for you. His specialty is meeting and greeting people. You've learned the blueprint for Gus's stand. Now craft it at any workbench. Place Gus's stand anywhere in a resort to unlock his services for that area. You can turn on Gus's services through the cabin management screen. Gus will automatically accept new guests to any bedrooms you indicate saving you the need to do it manually. Oh, okay. That's kind of nice. However, Gus won't be as good as you at matching bedrooms to guest needs. So choose which rooms you ask him to manage carefully. Every bedroom Gus manages will cost a fixed number of coins per day. If you run out of coins, this service will stop automatically and you will need to turn it back on yourself. Likewise, if you edit staff item or the room, if you edit the staff item or the room as it affects, the service will stop and will need to be turned on manually. Cool. Okay then. I feel like we haven't spent enough time in here, although I don't know if there's honestly much else that we can do here. Well, that's cool. It's not exactly what I needed right now, but it is a neat little upgrade, certainly. We'll probably try to take advantage of that. We'll build one in Timber Crossing and see if we can't, uh... If 
we can't get him to manage a couple of those rooms well. Yeah, no, the increase in uh, reliable income is definitely worth the uh, percentage he'll get. As far as I can tell. All right, Bear, now that you have employees, you have to get on the anti-union propaganda stat. Now, I'm pretty sure they're about to do that for us. I would be shocked if we didn't hear at least one or two cute little quips about, you know, the the powers that be and our, our, our need to, well, you know, I'm not going to write it for them. We'll get an earful or an eyeful, I guess. I don't even know if we've got space for a concierge desk here. Certainly got space in the inventory, at least. That's nice. Oh, it gives decoration. That's good. All right. Let's see if we can slap this down in there somewhere. Hmm. Maybe just like right here can move this guy to uh, hmm right there in front of the bathroom you can't see him but you know you know he's there and then we'll just have this plant sit with its buddy for a minute there we go that looks a little weird but at least it fits do you need a chair I don't think you do no, nah, it looks like it was working, just with that alone. Okay. And now I think I need to go to the front desk. And details. Edit. Turn on. And let's see. You can manage the third bedroom, Gus. Gustav. 250 gold a day. Is it 250 plus an extra 50 for this room? So I do wonder if that's going to be worth it. I got to upgrade the other three before I want them to manage those. Yeah. Okay, so pay 250 to enable it. I think it is an additional 50 after that. All right, there you go, Gus. I might as well fill the rooms, even though I'm not going to be able to go for the uh, Welcome highest to level. Their pile. Grim Reaper. First time gifter. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, bear gifts for him. Welcome on into the pile. All right. Highest comfort is 23. So we're going to be able to do this, but she's going to be disappointed in the decor. So I don't know about that one. Let's take this. Put you in there. We'll take this one. Put you in there. Seems good. And then we'll hold off. Got to maintain our five-star rating in timber. Okay. Okay. And then let's uh, build a concierge desk down on 824, too. Seems good. Burner. 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 So apparently I don't do anything with this diner. I think it's just like an attraction. It's meant to bring more people here. Oh, we have more valuables. Nice. Do, do, do. Hygiene's looking good. We gotta bump up the uh, comfort and decor in a few of these rooms here too, though. Let's get that concierge desk going first. Uh, let's go with... Uh, Right outside the bathroom. Yeah, perfect. Well, I think it works better here. Yeah, that's nice. Let's 
staff turned off. Oh, right. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's see. Here, you manage this one. For now, anyway. I want to get them up, like, above the 20s. The ones I have them run. So let's work on that real quick here. Although we still need nails, don't we? Jeez, yeah, we gotta go find some nails. I really gotta figure out how the heck we get those. Because I feel like we're not gonna be able to build the stuff we need without them. Let's go check the junkyard again while we're here. Because that's what my brain tells me. If I'm gonna find them anywhere, it's probably gonna be there. I'm pretty sure you can work at every location. Toasty, can you ban yourself for a few minutes real quick for that one, please? Thank you. Just for a few minutes, just so you've got time to think about it. Do do. What was that, though? Was that? That was just more screws, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Damn it. Yep, just screws. Screw you, says the game. Is it continues to add screws to my knapsack, my fanny pack. Oh, boy. I like your professional attire. Looking good. You want me to turn on Chubb's cam so you can show it off? <laughs> Love you. It's, it's too much work to remod you for the for the joke. It's not worth the effort. Speaking of not worth the effort, apparently too. Oh wait, no, hold on. I think we just found one single nail, didn't we? Or was that also just screws? No, there it is. Yes, one iron nail. They can be found. They do exist. It's a miracle. But is that the only way to acquire them? Because I'm gonna be worried if that's the case. Let's talk to these guys. Maybe they've got some sort of surplus they're dealing with. Yep, yeah, no, I don't think they are. I think they're just chilling. This is where Hank wants to put a body. Oh boy. Where's a bear to find some nails? This is a pickle. I don't think there's a single store that sells them. Or really sells any kind of crafting material. So is it really just a matter of finding them? Because that's going to be kind of unfortunate. in this direction, I wonder. I guess we're not really going to find any tools that are going to be able to remove an entire tree, huh? When do I get the backhoe? I haven't, gone any, or I haven't enabled the ability to go that way yet, either. Yeah, I'm getting worried here. I gotta figure out a way to progress without having to rely on nails, I guess. Which is, uh, gonna be tricky. Maybe sawdust has some loot that could include them. I feel like maybe the wood piles have a chance. Maybe a, maybe a small one. You got anything I can use? I feel like this was pretty empty last time. Despite being so full. I really like that the rooms all, like all the NPC rooms look like rooms that were designed using the in-game tools. It adds a little layer of believability to everything. Oh, that's kind of weird. Must have a button for it on the other side of the wall. 
Hmm. Yeah, this is, uh... This is getting concerning. Maybe Mama's got some nails. Maybe Mom will bail us out again. Annie, you got nails? No? She shows me her fingers, too, and I just lose my mind. No nails in there. Mom, I'm here to pay you back the thousands of coins I owe you. I'm rich now. We're part of the 1%. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. She's living her best life. I don't think anything's gonna stop her now. Yeah, no, she's just, she's content. All right, yep, oh, there she goes. As quickly as it began. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, maybe Black Moss has some. I should enter this from the other side, though. And, uh, also check to see whether or not I have the resources necessary to construct the bridge in Black Moss. That would save me a lot of walking time in the future. Let's head in from this side. I find it so strange that can only sleep at night is not enabled until like, I think it's like midnight or something like that. It feels kind of like night to me right now, you know? There's a lot of times where progress is kind of gated behind. I also forgot how to get to Black Moss the other way. There's often times where it feels like progress is kind of gated behind just, you know, waiting. And to be able to sleep a little earlier would be nice. That still hasn't updated. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling a little stuck here. I also need to re remind myself how the heck I'm supposed to get to Black Moss the other way. I thought it was through the A24, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe I just missed the doorway. Go look again. The local map, there it is. Yeah, that's the one. Off we go. Let's see what the actual time requirement is for that. I'm curious now. Maybe she's got nails. You never know. There's that bridge. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got two more. Okay, it's something. Looking for nails in a swamp is like asking for a hamburger in an Apple store. You say after seeing me get two nails, which I know those just came from a couch that could have shown up anywhere, but still. The walking can be so strange sometimes too. Wait, am I down on the lower level now? What the heck? Am I supposed to be able to walk on this? I thought this was the water. Did I break something? Is there a place where you can walk down into the water? Oh, right there. That's weird. Okay, apparently you can just walk down into the water. I think it's limited to this little section, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no other way you can go. How bizarre. Alright, well, thankfully it's fixable. How the heck are you even supposed to... Man, this place is impossible to navigate. <laughs> Especially at night. I'm pretty damn sure there was a bridge that we could build. Is 
just gotta find it again. Oh, here it is. Logger's tools. Oh, those are in my goddamn storage, and we need two of our three iron nails to build it. I gotta go back to my storage and get my logger's tools. Let's talk to the witch at least real quick. A tail is better than having none at all, but half a tail is worse than both. I've really thought about that. Of course she's not a real witch. They don't even own a broom. I already heard that. I already heard that. Yeah, nothing else in here. Okay. Okay. Well, we tried. We're able to sleep now. I didn't see exactly when that changed over. I don't know if anybody was uh, paying attention closer than I was. But it is 2 a.m. Let's go ahead and just do this. Just so I can see. It'll be a little nicer. Oh, shoot. I hope those notifications stay up. 1500 gold gain. Nice. With new stay requests. All right. Well, money's certainly not going to be a problem right now. Oh, apparently we got the two guests with the hygienic trade. I didn't even realize that. That's good, I guess. So now we just need to build the bathroom. Again, dependent on finding the blueprints for that. All right. Give me the logger's tools. And we'll go ahead and get these quest items back in the inventory, too, just in case we find whoever's supposed to use those. I'm going to bring the bus sign along with me, too. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Doo -doo -doo. What's this game about? It's just a bear running in bed and breakfast. Also, uh... Shitting on modern American capitalism. Just taking a big old poopy on it. But you are a bear, so you know it's a little more permissible. Yeah, I really thought there would be a way to do that, Kabuli, but apparently there's not a way to do a quick swap. Bear B and B, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Swamp bridge constructed. Nice. That'll help. Hopefully. Oh, look, and we completed the stay for six guests in High Lake. Let's go back up there. Happy stay. Looking good. Off we go. That's a pretty picture right there. That's nice. I want to go to there. Studies suggest that delayed gratification can be a serious condition with potentially life-changing implications. Protect yourself and your family today with our two-for-one special. I think I met your uh, standards. Congratulations for once again achieving the most coveted standard of all, the bare minimum. Ugh. This location has multiple opportunities for further advancement, but our data suggests that your tendency toward a quick and superficial fix is the perfect opening to search for a new expansion location. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the pond network, find your local pond shark and just press the green button. What a beautiful view. Come over when you get the chance, darling. It is pretty. All right. Still no blueprints. All right. What do you want? Serve 10 meals in High Lake. You get a special trinket that'll make cooking slightly easier. Cool. Let's do it. Let's get all our meals back out of storage real quick. I, I think that's just popcorn and corn. We got all kinds of ingredients now, though. We can maybe go whip up some new stuff. Okay. 
Yay. Do, do, do. Oh, right. I guess I could just filter by cooking stuff. There we go. Refill that. Refill that. Excellent. I don't think I even need to cook anymore right now, honestly. Although I'm going to for fun. Let's see. Let's make some roasted potato, perhaps. Yeah, that sounds good. Add the wood fuel. Get three of those bad boys. We're gonna roast some butter and potatoes. Two of you. One of you. And then we gotta boil up. No, sorry, just raw herbs. There we go. Two, just for fun. Extra spice. Taffy, I see you. I can't see you in the camera, though. Come here. Come here. A little closer. There she is. There she is. Sweet girl. What you doing? What you doing? Everybody can see your chest. Just your chest, not your face. Yeah. All right. See you later. Roasted taters. Thank you. We're swapping out the uh, mushroom soup for roasted taters today, y'all. By popular demand. Actually, swap swap the apple bowl. Yeah, that's just... That's just not going to suit the classy establishment we've, we've got ourselves here. The apple bowl is more for, more for decoration. We should just put that on the front desk, to be honest with you. Let's build the... Uh, Let's build the concierge stand here. Beep, 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 boo. Right there. Right next to the front desk. Oh, hell yeah, Paul. I am indeed saying Chubb's cam has returned. Yeah, we finally got that fixed. Oh yeah, I think you can handle this room just fine, Gus. You know what? Same with this guy. Same with this guy. I think you got them all covered, buddy. Take care of the whole lot of them. Gus has got this entire place covered. Very nice. Alright, let's go talk to Barbara. Oh, more fuel. Nice. Seems like there's always fuel there. I am happy to see. Barbara. Shh. Gentle. Listen. It's Wayne June. Saying thanks to Loons Gaming for 37 months. <laughs> There's always wisdom in the whisper of the water. He came all the way over here to tell us how happy he was. Or to take a photo of the dam, you know, that also makes sense. Even if this one is a particularly loud whisper, isn't it funny how the more you listen, the quieter it gets? And too much quiet can be quite dangerous. Especially for someone who's had a few bells rung in their life. Why I can't hear you! <laughs> You're always in the right spirit. I couldn't help but notice the captain's garden is open for business again. He always grew the sweetest corn. It sure seems like your paws are soft little hunks of magic. I can't remember the last time I saw the whole valley so active, the people look happy. You're doing such a great job. <laughs> Say, I think all this hiking has me a little famished. Seeing as you fast-tracked your gourmet inclinations, I was wondering if you'd be willing to get an old girl a little snack. And a little taste of home, I guess. Absolutely. Oh, I just happen to have some mushroom soup, Barbara. Let me go grab that for you. I'm something of a soup chef myself. Snag that. 
put their apple bowl back in there. So they've at least got a, a, an option. Maybe not the one they wanted, but hey, no one took it yet, right? Here you go. Brr. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Oh, that smell. Like pine bark and mildew. Ugh. Ah, that sure hits the spot. Warms the darkest crevices of your soul this will. I'm convinced now that if I see any hungry faces, I can send them your way. Well, that little pick-me-up gave me all the energy I need. It's time I got going again. I hope I'll see you again, you lovely creature. He really likes this dam. Wanted to see it at night, too. Hi, Julia. So timid. Oh, hi. Sorry, I startle easily. Nah, I get it. I scare myself all the time. You're still here. I mean, of course you're still here. I thought you'd be busy with all the people in the houses and everything. Well, I'm not saying you're not. I'm sure those take a lot of work. And skill and brain and good looks. Yeah, those two. Ever since you came along, I've been thinking. I've been stuck in a rut around here. Doing the same thing, getting lost in my routine. I don't even mind the sound the big black rock makes at night anymore. I think I want to try something new. Oh, I can take you to meet my buds. Or, or I can introduce you to the rat mob. They're mean, but they have a funny accent, so it's okay. <laughs> what? Leave? Is it not here? Oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking more in the realm of trying out some new recipes to cook. Oh, yeah, that's fun too, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Why do I need to go somewhere if I can get a little taste of it at home? Kind of like traveling in your mouth. Y yeah? I love my garden, but it doesn't grow a lot of stuff. You think you could try and find me some more unfamiliar ingredients? Something that doesn't grow here. Something fresh and zesty. New place? New location? Maybe? Talk to Sabine about helping Julia. Hey, if it isn't the most charming bear this side of town. That's only because I haven't been to the other side of town yet. I was just about to pack up. What can I do for you? I'm on the lookout for some fresh food things. To find for a friend. Well, there's plenty of fruits and roots that grow around here. Oh, if you're looking for something a little more special, there used to be a greenhouse up north near the old winter lodge. I don't know if it's up to snuff anymore, but they kept some pretty peculiar seeds. How would one waddle up there? You follow the road north past the broadcast station and right up into Winterberry. I doubt the keepers will still be around. Ain't no harm in checking. I'll open up a path for you, but I'm waddling my own behind straight back to the tower after. These trees ain't gonna watch themselves. Thanks, Beanie, you're the best. Why aren't you just a big softy? Let's go. New place. New song, probably, too. Come on. You got it, buddy. I've seen you walk before. You're so good at it. Ooh, pretty. Winterberry. Not spelled B E A R Y or A R Y A E R Y. Unfortunately. But we'll have to make do. Bus station. See if we got the stuff we need. Friggin' iron nails, dude. Did not foresee those being a constant problem all of a sudden. Oh, 
This place is, uh, not very welcoming. Ski resort sign needs 10 iron nails. Gonna get a lot of valuables in here, at least. At the very least. There's a couple nails. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we'll find a few in the... Yeah, there we go. That's where you find them. And all the destroyed furniture and shit that you'll find in the buildings. There we go. Finally resupplying that. This is a big place. That's exciting. Oh yeah. Ether Hacker. Thanks for the 11 months. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. Bear hugs for him. Nearly a year in the pile. Welcome back. And of course, we're going to have to do this stuff eventually anyway, so no harm in grabbing those things now. Thanks for the bits too, Ether. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, all of a sudden we got a whole bunch. Yay! Oh, that's so nice. Lots of valuables now, too. How many we got now? 257. Sick. Alright, let's go head up to the objective now. Oh, the air suddenly feels a little warmer. Out in the middle of icy nowhere, deep in the heart of Winterberry, resided Jax the Mastiff. His gentle and warm approach seemed deliberate for a place this cold. If anyone knew how to kindle a fire, it was probably Jax. It's rare that I don't have to look downward to speak to someone. Even rarer to not have to look up to face one of your kind. Did you just compliment and stun me at the same time? No such thing. Neither. Or do any good to the mind. I will praise or condemn only deeds. Not things you had no hand in. It's okay, I don't like getting either. I don't know what to do with them. What does a young brown bear need from a frigid place like this? My name's Hank, and I'm putting together a group of remarkable friends to save the world. Hmm, are you? No, but now you might actually believe the second thing. I'm rebuilding things throughout the valley and bringing back humans because of a greedy shark. Oh. Interesting. Why? What do you mean, why? Because the inflatable fish said so. But why are you doing it? Because... Well, oh, shit, yeah. I haven't really even thought about it. Because I like helping. So it's the kindness in your soul, then? Yeah. I think. Oh, and I'm also looking for something. Uh, zesty. Well, Hank, there might be something I could help with. But I'd like to see that group you're putting together first. And we can discuss aromatics afterward. I can get started on building stuff. That sounds like a plan. And Hank, make sure that kindness eventually finds its way back. Sage advice. Ooh, we get another statue. Prospector's gear. Oh, man. I wonder if Jax has some prospector's gear for us. 700 gold gain from guests. Now that I've got a few nails, might want to go back and try to upgrade some things. Let's go talk to, uh, well, first of all, I guess we can go get some more valuables in here. Can't stop myself. I gotta get it all. I might as well go ahead and repair the ski cabin here, too. While we're in the area, just fix up the entire ski cabin. You know how it is. 
That's cute. Good set. That's a good boy. The devs just tweeted there will be a fix for the iron nail shortage. Oh, so it's not just me. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's fix up the bus station. That's certainly going to help out. Morning, name. Hold up. Why drive to paradise when you can fly? Hi, I think I'm freezing my tail off. We here at Pond Voyage are committed to offer only the most utmost standard experience to our valued customers. Which is why this location will feature breakthrough advancements in the hospitality industry. Above freezing temperatures. Please return once a suitable venue has been established. Okay. Welcome to Big Winter Cabin. Would you like to repair it? Yep. Done. 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 Just like that. Big cabin repaired. Well, that's a big freaking cabin, dude. Wow. Yeah, that is going to be... I mean, that, there's two of them, too. Holy shit. Small ski cabin. Let's do it. Clear of debris. Materials gathered. There we go. Easy peasy. Cabin's repaired. Let's let's progress. Maybe we can have a fireplace or something. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. I wonder what this place is. Yes. Building stuff done. Impressive. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's still me. Yes, it certainly is. Yeah, well, as you know, I'm putting together a group of remarkable people to save the world, yes. Right, and, you know, the world is a lot colder than they thought. Especially around these parts. We could certainly bristle the coat on your back. And I was wondering if this group of, you know, extraordinary beings needed to get extraordinarily warm. Even for a little bit. Who? And their laser eyes weren't working today. Because the wind makes them cry. How would they get around to keeping warm? How would... Yeah! Not that they don't know. Of course they do. But they also couldn't help but notice the thick fur and fireplace back there. I see. Yes, well, I would reckon these incredible people would have to first go on a critical mission. A mission? Yes, a mission of great importance. A rescue and recovery mission. Of crucial assets. They would be willing... No, inclined to go on this mission. Yes, of course they would. The secret riches they would be so inclined to fetch are located near the coastline. In Whitestone Bay, a box of highly delicate material can be found near the end of the cliff. Message received. What's in the box? What's in the box? Some rocks. Rocks? Rocks. I see. It is of the utmost importance that this objective is retrieved and delivered to me. And then we can see about warming up this crew. All right. All right. I wonder if I've unlocked any further blueprints yet. I suppose it would pop up with an alert if it did, huh? Suppose we're heading to Whitestone Bay, which means... Let me just take the bus to Timber real quick, save some time. Ah, oh, some fuel too, nice. Thank you. Back to Timber. How you doing? How y'all doing in here? Looks like the uh, concierge is doing his job. Let's see if I can fill in that uh, available slot real quick. Yeah, I think you'll be happy there, Poppy May. There you go. Looking good. How many iron nails do we got now? 41. I 
feel like I gotta conserve him still a little bit. Because I'm worried now that I'm gonna run out again and be back in the same position I was before. Alright, a whole new location. Two new locations, back to back. <laughs> She says in the torrential wind and rainstorm. It's gotta be like a 40 mile an hour wind. She's just sitting there. Come enjoy the view, honey. What? Come enjoy the view. It's beautiful up here. Hang on, I gotta get some honey and peaches. Coming. Oh, hold on. Whoa there. Little guy coming through. Watch your step. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Wade. Oh, it's not a bother, mister. I'm used to a little trampling. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Come to take me back to the boss again? But no, I wasn't even looking for you. Oh, I see. Didn't I just bring you back? What are you doing here anyway? If Mr. A didn't send you, please don't, don't, t please don't tell him I'm gone, mister. I don't think he'll notice either way. You seemed pretty fussed about it last time. He even came out all the way to my house just to get me to look for you. Did he really? Well, that's just because he finally figured I was behind on my scavenge quota. You wouldn't believe how much garbage is actually just useless junk. I, I really would. It takes a real keen eye and a moist sniffer to fish out the really good stuff. And even then, it's barely good enough. You're lucky you got lucky, Wade. Don't put that in your mouth, Wade. I get that last one a lot. I thought that if he sent after me, he must have at least missed me, right? Maybe cared a little? But as soon as you were gone, he just put me back to digging in the muck. Because that's all I'm good for, a pair of paws. I'm sure that's not true. You're also, uh, very easy to accidentally step on. Thank you, I appreciate you saying that. So anyway, I left again. I reckon maybe the garbage is greener on the other side. Like you always said. Rubbish doesn't wait around for trash, Wade. Hmm, yes, very sensible. He's always so smart, Mr. A. Anyways, I was just about to go blind with hunger before you came along. So if I'm not keeping you... Wait, I can help with that! I just recently learned how to cook stuff all on my own. And I don't want to brag, but I nail the boiling temperature for water almost every time. The trick is not to test it with your mouth. That does sound pretty delicious. Eh, yeah, well, if it isn't too much of a bother, there is one thing I'd really like to try. A kind of soup. I saw it in a movie once. They don't make lots of those for rats, you know. This, eh, <laughs> he's, he's, he knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Ah, oh, I'm out of bus signs, all right. Let's go back and pick one up. Actually, that's like right next to us here, isn't it? Oh, what was that? That was new. That was some, uh... What was that thing? Uh, ginger, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Neato. You know, it's funny. I just stopped to catch my breath. It's as if I was waiting for you to show up. And wouldn't you know it, my little beer, beer, beardy and angel. Beardy and angel. Beard. Bear, beer beard. Bear beard. I haven't been to the bay in ages. I forgot how purple the sky can get sometimes. In that brief moment when the sun confronts the sea. Before calling it a night and promising to return the next day. The captain always had stories about the sun and the moon. No matter where he went, he said, they always kept their distance from the sailors. But still they seemed to egg them on. Teasing them with a rare dance, barely twice a day. Like a dog with a ball, desperately asking you to throw it straight from their mouth. Brr. You know, it's a real shame not a single boat's been on this side of the valley in so long. It's way too dangerous, of course. No lighthouse to guide them at all. I sometimes miss the captain's stories. He even called me in from his ship every once in a while. The radio static building up the tension while he painted a canvas with his words. 
I've thought about that static recently, but I've had hardly any luck in finding a receiver. There used to be one up at the lighthouse before it all went down the crapper. You reckon you'd be up for another little investigation for an old hag? I think I can manage that. A crab? Hello? Oh. His dark and red mantle will envelop the world. His hardened claws will tear your soul from its fleshy prison. His blood red eyes are so dreamy. Okay. See ya. This looks like it would be fun. Oh, I didn't even realize this is bumper cars. Microphone. Okay. Now where's my two turntables? More prospectors gear. All right. Let the flight be about their business, I guess. Oh, that's a... Oh, stone unturn complete. Sauna stones. Cool. Right on. We did it. I keep arriving at places at night. Here, hold on. I want to enjoy this in the daytime. There we go. Ah, I got the people pleaser achievement. Nice. Host 50 guests. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, that's another quest item, isn't, isn't it? Is it not? Where'd it go? Ooh, a new beggar. Radio receiver. Yep, there we go. That's the one she needed. Can't be repaired. All right. All right. That's a bop, dude. More ginger, nice. Probably use some more of this stuff. I'm guessing we're probably gonna have to head back to town to cook this up. Back to High Lake. River, river! Oh goodness, yes, that's it. Give it here, um, darling. Dropped her facade for a sec there. Come on, you piece of... Oh, oh, excuse me. Tonight at 5, we're finally finding out what differentiates a hippo from a zippo. Bzz. Oh, you little... Bzz. Now, a new study published suggests that, yes, crabs do think people walk sideways. Just five days before the annual showing of the lights, a yearly tradition that's been a staple... Wait! For children and parents alike. The festivity, now recognized as a national holiday, brings a joyful reminder to people all over the country of the independence they fought for, fought for almost 15 years ago. But no one will be celebrating as hard as the party animals on this new Pond Line cruise liner. This is it. Cheer in the background, please. I'll tell you what, Gary, working below minimum wage feels like the last thing on these people's minds right now. Or mine. I, uh, have somewhere to be. Huh. Hey, Lamar.
Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's pretty. Oh yeah, there we go. Gotta have him face the wall. Or the screen, I mean. Delightful. All right, let's go make some French onion soup. And we know where to go if we need honey and peaches, which... I mean, that's... Wow, I want to live there. That's the land of honey and peaches. I'm going to grab a bus sign real quick so we can fix that up. Another logger's tools as well, just in case. it up. Sweet. Back to High Lake. Whip up this French onion soup. Boo -doo -doo. Let's see what the recipe is. Oh, he didn't give us the recipe. We just have to get it. I wonder if Julia has it. Let's go find out. Get a couple onions just in case. Oh, he did give it to us. It's in my inventory. Okay, hold on. Oh, there you are. There you are, French onion soup. We have a farm, quote unquote. It's actually Julia's. She just lets us freely graze from it. Is someone staying here? Someone must have stayed here. Yay! That makes me happy. I didn't know this was being used. Do, 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 do. French onion soup. Ooh, it's a six. Fancy. Sliced bread. I am not able to do that yet. I gotta find a slice card. Maybe I need a better cutting board? Yeah, no, no blueprint for that. Oh, hello. The job is done. This greatly benefits the location. Recipe box! Yay! Unlocks the ability to auto-fill cooking cards for any recipe. Oh, fuck yeah! That's going to be a super helpful thing. Hold on, I want to try this. Tomato soup. Autofill cards. Oh, it puts the cards in there, but you have to fill them with the ingredients still. Okay, but I mean, that's still nice, though. That's helpful. I misunderstood it, though. Let's see what the new quest is. Build a level two dining room. I think I might have already done that. Yep. Nice. Please be aware Pond Voyage will never protect agents from financial ruin. Noted, thanks. What do you want now? Build five level three bedrooms in High Lake. I'm close to that already. Let's see how, how much more we'd need to do for that. I think we just need to build one more bedroom with if, uh, if I remember right. We could probably do that. I did Gossam. It's about a bear running a bed and breakfast. Or really multiple bed and breakfasts. Yeah, we got... Those are all level three bedrooms for sure. Look how fucking fancy this is, huh? I'd stay there in a heartbeat. It's going to get even fancier. Let's build one. I know it's going to look weird. But I'm thinking about doing this. Maybe that. 
and then do a second bedroom right here. I was going to build like a whole big one, but no, that's a little unnecessary probably. How big is this range for this thing? I wonder. I'm not sure it's unfortunately uh, getting a decor hit. Need a level three bed in the corner room upstairs. Oh yeah, it is blocking the door, isn't it? Shoot. Okay, hold on. Let's not let's not do that one. Absolutely. Need a level three bed, you say? I think we might still have a level three bed in the inventory. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and whip up the lovely lavender one more time here. Go back upstairs. Oh, is it this one here? Yeah, Rustic Delight. Swap that for the level three. Oh, we gotta move the footrest now. There we go. Beauty. All right. I feel like we could probably throw a couple of other things in there. It's already got a vanity. It looks like it's an elegant wardrobe. Yeah, yeah so. How about a rustic end table? I'm going to put this here. Move this over here. And do this. I'm be able to be a little closer than that. I guess not. Flower vase. Delightful. Okay, now we go back downstairs. What about... That seems okay. Is that going to block the door? Yeah, it's going to block the door. I'm going to have to move the window if I did this. Which I could do. I could do something like this and then move that like right there. Right there even. That looks a little weird, doesn't it? Let's see. I think I like this. Put a door on top there. We'll make that work. Give this a uh, cozy butterscotch bed so it's got a little more room to work with. I think I've got an elegant wardrobe already, right? No, I don't think I do, actually. Make a new one. Cute, comfy footrest. I already got that. Let's do this right in the corner there. Wardrobe up here. And the footrest. Cool. Honestly, this just doesn't fit. This just looks so much better this way. Just to make me happy, we'll do that. I'll throw a vanity in this one, too. There we go. We'll get lamps in these guys eventually, but it's mostly about just getting this criteria met right now. And now we got another bedroom in this place, although I'm pretty sure that one's suffering a big decor penalty. Let's take a look at the front desk and find out. Also pick up our valuables. Bedroom 5 has a decor rating of 17. Yeah, that's not great. Oh, it also doesn't benefit from the bathroom at all, apparently. Oh, no, I didn't even realize that. Damn it. Hmm. I think I need to move the bathroom. I think if I move it down to the to right next to the front door I think it will uh, benefit this room unfortunately oh, I like having the bathroom separate this bedroom and the kitchen though man hmm man that's so close I wonder if I built this, if I added to this, like one more, one higher, I wonder if that would be enough for the bathroom to hit it. I think it might be. I think I'm willing to try that. 
All right, I gotta do this first. Oh, edit. Yeah, that's what I need to do. That's the one. Then maybe that'll work. Cause it's got three tiles on there now, you would think. There we go, nice. Cool, fixed it. And that means that we could probably go ahead and throw a bigger bed in here. Get a slight decoration bonus from that. Then we could use the better footrest too. There we go. Got so much room in there for extra stuff in the future. You can't remove window visibility? I don't think so. You can change the level of walls that are showing. But you can't, like, take off windows, I guess. That looks pretty pleasant, doesn't it? Alright, I think that's good. Job's done. Tape measure. You've obtained the tape measure, which allows you to access building and crafting from anywhere. Use the build button in the menu bar to access build mode without having to use a workbench. It'll only work in areas that have buildable structures. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Save us from having to go to the workbench all the time. All right, neat. Build a level two kitchen for 550 coins. Let's do it. I don't know if I can yet. I think I've only got level one kitchen stuff. Yeah, I've only got level one kitchen stuff. All right, gotta wait on that, I guess. You could probably decorate your home back in the cave now. Oh yeah, maybe, huh? That'd be cool. All right, let's go back to uh, Jack's in Winterberry. Bring in the sauna stones. I'm hoping that we're going to get some blueprints soon. Feels like that's been a little overdue. How goes the mission? Mission accomplished. Wonderful. These will come in handy. Thank you, my friend. You're a good bear. Ah, shucks. Wait, I don't know how to feel about that one. How come? I thought compliments weren't good for you. Not the hollow ones, perhaps. But you weren't born a good bear. You made yourself into one. The same goes for insults. Well, neither feel like the truth to me. Maybe they didn't come from truth. Or they didn't stick the landing. Either way, it's you that has, give, has to give the green light. Let's see about warming up, shall we? That hot head of yours can only radiate so much warmth. I don't want to brag, but it is positively steaming. Yes, well, eventually you'll have to burn a couple of logs. Take this and make a little heating room. Blueprint! Old grandma boiler recipe. I'll show you how to turn it on after. Areas with cold weather will need a utility room to compensate for the low temperatures. Needs a heater to be functional. They're loud and messy, which means they carry a negative decoration score. We'll apply the negative decoration score in an area of effect around them. You can see the debuff area by clicking on the room in build mode. In order to make them hot function, you need to add fuel. If the temp drops too low, the heater kicks in and consumes fuel at the rate of one per hour, granting heat. The goal of heating is to never drop below the level the guests require. Growing going over it will have no effect. Better heaters will give more heat and have a smaller impact on decoration. Each utility room will heat up an entire building, so resorts with multiple buildings will require multiple utility rooms. All right. I was wondering if it would let me build in his room. Let's go build the utility room. Which I guess I can just do from outside, right? Yep. Let's start with medium ski cabin. I think I need to craft 
a boiler or two. That's going to take a bunch of copper plates. Here we go. So we want to build this down on the corner where it's not going to bug anybody. Let's do it like right here. Two by three. That's not too big. Actually, hold on. Not there. Undo. Let's do it here. Yeah, that seems good. And a door like this. And a little boiler. Cool. Easy. There we go. We'll go ahead and just build one over here, too, while we're at it. Just like this, and then like this. Bada bing, bada boom. No problem. They're invalid objects in this room, it says. Um, what? The window's fine. The door's fine. I think it's saying they can't access it like that. What do you want me to change? Want me to make the room bigger? How about that? No? Here, let's try something else. Let's build this one up here. Maybe you'll like this more. There we go. Good enough. Cool. That's pretty straightforward. Have you made a home for your heater yet? It's only fair you put it to good use. All right, let's put the fuel in the heater. Oh, I could probably just do that from this, right? Oh, no, I think I have to actually go access it. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop -a -doop. New bop again. Hell yeah. Let's do three a piece. There we go. Do, do, do. It's got like an 80s vibe to this one. There we go. Problem solved. Wake up, Gus. I mean, Jax. I was able to nourish the fire. It was very hungry. You're almost a master of the craft now. Quite a cozy craft. Being hospitable. Well, don't be fooled. The fire runs out quickly without a keen eye to watch over it. Make sure you give it plenty of light and water it every day. I know you're joking, but for a second there, I was about to go get a bucket. Who said I was joking? Jax's burnables. Nice. Just fuel. Right, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Cool. All right. Now, we still got to find a way to upgrade our kitchen so we can make French onion soup for Wade. So it feels like... Ooh, 30 wood and 15 mahogany planks. I don't know if I've gotten any mahogany planks yet. Fancy. Anyway, yeah, it feels like we need to just find the uh, mission required to complete in order to uh, unlock the uh, new blueprints for the kitchen. Hey there, Finna. So let's go work on that, I guess. All the way back down. Pawn has new recipes? Oh, shit. Well, let's take a peek. Oh, yeah. Shark Boy wants to talk to me, too. Floridian Aiden. 
Thank you very much for the 50 months. Bear hugs, please. Got a tiny fuel chest. Hi, I think I'm the master of fire now. You deserve only the slowest of claps. Now that you've reached the lower limit of what's required to sustain life in this location, you're required to meet the minimum threshold that will show us your loving parent company. That you have bought, uh, brought this establishment to the world-class status our customers expect and desire. Nice, new stuff, hooray. Yay! Level four bedroom, divine Dijon bed. Fuck yes, cute vanity table. Lavish standing tub. Luxurious throne. Ornate bathroom sink. Look at that tub, yeah, holy shit. Hot and cold buffet recipe. Long walnut table. Solid walnut chair. Scratchy armchair. Compact sofa. Sensible bookcase. Sick. Okay. Now that we got all that... I don't think we actually got the level 2 kitchen stuff, did we? Huh. Okay. Gimme, gimme. Ooh, here's some freaking valuables. Let's go. Nice. There we go. New de new decor. A popcorn machine. Oh, fun. Oh, and a stone fireplace. Gotta get at least one of those. Absolutely required. Very large starry rug. I will take it. Rococo lamp. Large bonsai plant. No fuss cooker hood. Kitchen spice rack. All right, that'll work for now. I think it's time to build. Oh boy. Let's start upstairs. Well, first of all, I suppose I should build the front desk. And the concierge stand. Just plop those down right away. I see the concierge, but where's my front desk? There it is. It's right in the corner there. Along with Gus's place. Nice. Alright, we're gonna make the fanciest bedroom stuff money can buy. Divine Dijon bed. Three of those bad boys. Cute vanity table. Three of those bad boys. What else do we need? Oh, we need bathroom stuff too. Ornate bathroom sink. Luxurious throne. Lavish standing tub. Perfect. I guess we'll just need another elegant wardrobe. And a cute, comfy footrest. Which we've already gotten. I think we're gonna need a kitchen in here, too, so... Ooh, even maybe a distillery in this place. That'd be fun. Let's go ahead and make the, uh... Oh, we're running low on stuff again, damn. Let's worry about these bedrooms and bathrooms first. Let's head upstairs. So we're gonna need to make a bathroom that can ideally cover at least a half of this floor. I say we go ahead and build it right here. That'll do. Put the door right there. Organize our stuff with a lavish standing tub right there in the corner. Luxurious throne. An ornate sink. That works. That's pretty good. Sure, the door hits it on the way in, but... Okay, no, hold on. I can do better. I can do better than this. Rotate. I'm gonna do, like... Well, you put that back in there. 
Is this down here, perhaps? Does this go in the corner? I think it does. It goes like this. And then you get the toilet over here. Like this. There we go, dude. Now we're talking. He's found it. He's found the layout. Perfect. Bathroom constructed. Oh, yeah, that'll cover it. That'll get that half of the floor. No problem. So let's see here. The movie theater. What? Oh, shit. We're going to build a movie theater in here? That's exciting. The lounge, too. Which we know we can build that stuff already. Time for bedrooms up here, though. Let's start in this corner. I like this. Make full use of that space. Perfect. <laughs> they can fit there, right? All they need is a single tile. Divine Dijon bed. Dead center. Cute vanity over here. Where's my rustic end table? I thought I had another one available. Eh, it must be gone. Rococo lamp. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Right there in the corner, buddy. There you go. Perfect. Elegant wardrobe. Just like that. Cute comfy footrest. Perfect. Look at this friggin' bedroom, dude. Oh my god. Sounds more like Coco. Rococo. Okay. Hmm. That'll do for now. Done. Same kind of situation here. Let's do it. Do it opposite the other one. Get a cute vanity down in this corner, or this corner, I guess. Yeah, that works. That'll do it. Excellent. Gotta get another one of these lamps. Looking real nice. All right. That's a good start. Let's take care of our dining. So we know we're going to need that here. Dining area will be right here. Now, nah, let's keep it down on the corner. We'll build the kitchen down in this corner here. Keep this away from everybody else. And then we'll build the, uh, the kitchen stuff and crafting real quick. Which is gonna be our refrigerator, our cast iron stove, our pewter cutting board. And then we're gonna want some dining room stuff, so let's go ahead and build, let's call it... Let's do eight solid walnut chairs. Two long walnut tables. And a uh, hot and cold buffet. There we go. That ought to do it. Time for the dining room. Big ass dining room, dude. Huge. Massive. Ridiculous. We're gonna get a couple of tables in there. Oh yeah. Plenty of space to eat in this place. Don't want anybody going unserved. Gonna need some more chairs even, dude. Everybody gets to eat. Oh, where's the buffet gonna go, Bear? Ah, oh, shit, you're right. How about this? Even bigger dining room. I'll summon an even larger dining room. There we go. 
Perfect. Just gotta whip up some more chairs real quick. How many more did we need? One, two, three, four. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Now we've got to put the kitchen stuff in there, too. Puny cutting board. Small fridge. Cast iron stove. Easy peasy. All right. And tell you what, they get a bonsai plant in there. They deserve it. Add a little flavor to the kitchen. Oh, and here we go. Stone fireplace. Directly next to the concierge and front desk. That's nice. I gotta get some, like, sofas or something out there, too. Very large, starry rug. Perfect. Love it. Spice rack for the kitchen. There we go, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna have to make this guy a little bigger, aren't we? We're gonna do that. Unless you fit somewhere else. Tell you what, you might have to go. You might have to go out here. It's gonna have to be where you live, because that's where that goes for sure. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. That's a damn fine start for this place, man. Let's check our uh, ratings for our rooms. See where we're at. Hey, pretty nice. Oh, you have to build a kitchen and dining room for upstairs too? What? I thought that did I thought this worked for the whole building. Oh no. I really don't want to have to build one upstairs too. Why are these not getting food ratings? Oh, there's no food in the tray. That's why. That's why. Okay. That makes sense. Well, let's make some. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought the I thought you would have to access the cooking from the cutting board in order to get the ability to cut, but no, that's not the case. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make some roasted potatoes. One butter. Maybe eventually you'll get something that auto fills the ingredients too. That'd be cool. So I'm not a huge fan of this process, to be honest. It's a little tedious. Yeah, we got more fuel than we could possibly need. Tater time. Yeah, let's make some tomato soup. Ooh, 1,900 gain from five guests. Nice. Oh, we don't have this stuff, apparently. Oh, wait, yeah, we do. Why is that not working? There we go. Two tomatoes boiled. Boiled milk. Raw herbs. And the fuel. Yeah, hey, that's not going pretty good today. Enjoying myself. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate description, Tickler. With a with a sprinkling of Animal Crossing in there. It's Stardew Valley meets Grave Rare Keeper meets Rimworld. Grave Rare Creeper. Uh, mushroom soup. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Just a dash of Elden Ring, yeah. Just the tiniest bit of souls like in it. And what's our fourth thing gonna be? 
How about some corn on the cob? That seems good. I do like me some corn on the cob. There's our corn. There's our cob. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't know why I keep using three fuel, but whatever. Whatever. I saw Malf was playing Dinkum. Is that something I ought to check out? Could always go for another city builder. Uh oh. <laughs> this isn't good. Apparently we can't walk in here. Hang on, we might want to we need to edit this room a little more. One more row. I'm gonna put this up there. There we go. Oh, it's because... <laughs> Alright, hold on, we just gotta move the door. Can I not? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no one can... <laughs> I think I have to make it one bigger horizontally, too. Or vertically, I mean. No one can fit. And then maybe if we move everything over. Oh, uh, that's not looking great. What about... Oh, okay, no, hold on. Oh, the door, duh. There we go. Okay, all fixed. Let's make this look a little bit more appealing, though. Yeah, that's better. There we go. All fixed. Nice. Yay! All right, now we can access everything. Great. Oh, we should put some windows in there, too. Yeah, that'd be nice. Corn on the cob, mushroom soup, roasted potatoes. Sweet. Yeah, let's do put some windows in there. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Put a window in the kitchen too, why not? A couple of kitchen windows. Let's do this. Move them a little further down actually. Right there. Does that seem right? That's pretty good, yeah. I'll take that. Cool. Okay, now these rooms should be ready. There we go. All right, we'll see what kind of guests we need. Those all seem perfectly manageable. Yeah, we can even meet the hygiene requirement. Let's go. And the fancy food guy. All right. Bring him on. And let's go ahead and have the uh, concierge manage both rooms. Sweet. Easy peasy. Hell, let's add another one. One more. We're gonna craft. All that fancy bedroom stuff again. Doo -doo, doo -doo. One more vanity, one more divine Bajan bed. Looking good. Oh, you know what we're going to do actually real quick? Hold on, we're going to move this door up here. Same to you. Hey, is this... This does have an accessibility issue, doesn't it? I wonder if that would fix it. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually able to fix that. Oh well. Just leave it as is. I like I actually like it a little more with that space there. I might do that for both. Oh, I didn't add a footrest to this one. Oops. Also, I think I like this one more that way. There we go. I need to add a new footrest in here, too. 
Doo -doo. There we go. All right, that'll work. I think we we'll just do a slightly smaller one here so we can fit two rooms in this little space. That seems smart. Should be able to fit everything I want anyway. Do, do, do. Let's put this one in the corner. There we go. Oh, this is a simple wardrobe. I need an elegant wardrobe. I gotta whip that up. Ba boom. There it is. Nice. Looking good. That ought to be about the same as the others. Covering it out. Yeah, looking good. Hop on in, Elvis. There we go. You know what? We might as well build the last room, too. Let's do it. Since we've got the perfect space for it there, anyway. Build another comfy footrest. Another vanity table, another wardrobe, and another bed. Oh yeah, I guess I could build that fuel storage thing too, huh? Oh, this place needs a window too. Hold on, we gotta move this window right above the bed. And then... Oh, that means I have to move that window too, though. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, it's already misaligned, though. Well, all right. So be it, then. I'm also adding a window right... Nope. Oh, wait. Is that... Yeah, that's overlooking. Yeah, for sure. And then one right there, right? No. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Also one right there. Perfect. Comfy footrests. Cute vanity. Elegant wardrobe. Beautiful. Just like that. Oh yeah, let's build that fuel storage thing. Well, actually, I think that's just a crafting thing. Yeah, tiny fuel chests, which I have no copper plates anymore, unfortunately. So no luck. But we get to rent out the fourth room. Right. And just go ahead and let him manage all four. There you go, buddy. Still got plenty of money, so yeah, I got no problem with that. Cool. So we still can't make the French onion soup, huh? So we still only got the level one kitchen stuff. Wonder if once we complete this stay for eight guests here, if we'll be able to get more. Some more lights. And a few of those lamps. I like those. No more blueprints. Yeah, I guess I could stock those up with a bunch more fuel, huh? Since I have so much, might as well. Oh, they don't even have any fuel. Well. Certainly a good idea, then. Here, have 50. That'll last a while. Hopefully. I don't think anybody's even using this building yet, but might as well go ahead and get this ready, too. There you go. Cool. All right. I'm out of here. We gotta go build a level three bathroom in A24 now. Finally meet that uh, objective. Do -do 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 -do. 
Should be pretty easy. Assuming I've got the stuff I need. Ornate bathroom sink. I am out of plates. All right. All right. We got to go to the junkyard. Quick little junkyard trip. No sweat. Copper, please. Just some copper is all we need. There we go. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. I wonder how quickly this all respawns. I wonder if it's once per day or if it's even quicker than that. Does it seem like the farm stuff re respawned really fast? Which is very nice. That should help for now, at least. Resources definitely becoming more scarce here. All right. Let's get this done. We've built our throne, right? Our luxurious throne, I think. Didn't we? I could have sworn I did. Oh, I built the sink. I need the throne, and then I need the lavish standing tub. There we go. Let's go ahead and store that. Store that. Store that. And here we go. Uh, ornate sink. And luxurious throne. Way down there in the corner for him. We should have a crappy toilet in here too, but it doesn't let us have more than one. There we go, level three bathroom done. Job complete. No skill detected! Come back as soon as possible to continue the path to financial success. Okay. What do we need? 15 five-star reviews for a new overcoat. Oh boy, yes please. 15 five-star reviews here. How many do we have right now? We need to get some, oh man, we need to get some guests. We have lots of reviews. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. We have twenty-one perfect reviews. I guess we need fifteen additional five-star reviews. Is that what it's trying to tell me? All right then. I'll tell you what. We're gonna spend a whole bunch of time upgrading this place so that we're able to have our concierge just book out all those rooms for us. So let's do it. First of all, craft a whole bunch of Divine Dijon beds. Let's go with four for now, since we already have one in the inventory. See if we can't go ahead and swap some of these guys out. Upgrade. <laughs> that is, uh, uh-oh. Maybe not in the, maybe not in those rooms, the Divine Dijon, maybe the cozy butterscotch in here instead. That's probably a better idea. Still level three, still pretty good. Two more of those. There we go. Yeah, these rooms is going to be difficult to... Uh, to get that comfort level much higher. With that level of space. Which certainly makes sense. Might be able to get some divine beds in here, though. Yeah, it seems fine. There we go. Looking fancy. All right. Let's see here. Honestly, not really sure why that's not down there. In fact, that should be a cute, cushy one. Let's make those happen here. Cute, comfy footrest requires pinewood planks that I do not have. Oof. 
All right, then. Unfortunate. Just have to make do with that for now, I guess. And that's a pretty solid upgrade, I think, for these for these rooms. Perhaps not enough to uh, let the concierge take control. Let's take a peek, though. Up to 23 on several, 30 on this guy. Eh, it's mostly meeting their needs. Can't quite meet the 38, though. Eh, I think I'll let him take care of those guys, at least. There you go. We'll add some more decor, too. Or try to, anyway. Does adding decor to the lobby add decor to the individual rooms, or do you have to put things in the rooms themselves in order to add the decor to those? I might just throw a few lamps in here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Do, do, do. Alright. Feels pretty good. Seventeen. Oops. All right, that'll work. That'll work for now. And the way we use this space is so bizarre. Such a strange one. We gotta host two guests with the pamper trade in Timber Crossing still. But now we also need a whole bunch more pinewood planks. You don't sell those, right? Nah. I do need more butter, though. Probably some more milk, too. All right. Well. I did mention we were probably going to have a shorter shift of bear and breakfast today, and I think this is a decent opportunity to put a pin in things here. Still waiting on a couple of upgrades. We're leaving things in a pretty good spot here. We got the concierge running a lot of the business for us, so we're going to make some good money that way. Unlocked two more places, making good progress. So we'll leave off here on A24 on day 24, appropriately enough. And uh, pick up Bear and Breakfast right here.